Hello everyone, Raven Slacker here. Out of mission, mission 9 of Dawn of War. The last mission we faced off for the first time against the Chaos Faction. While we were able to breach their defenses in an abandoned chapel, uh, betrayal from the Imperial Guardsmen at the last moment helped them escape. But we were able to track them, and now with the help of the Inquisitor, he and the captain were able to bury the hatchet and team up. They're going to hunt them down. To chaos Tartarus back. is a planet gone mad. Over 60% of the population has fallen to the Orc forces. And what's left of the Imperial Guard are fighting a desperate losing battle to protect those that remain as they leave the planet. The traitor Imperial Guard we encountered in Louvre Mar are not the only ones. Nearly 25% of the Guard has treacherously turned on their former comrades, forming maniacal blood cults that ambush and carve up their fellow Guardsmen. Certainly, I have seen the powers of chaos affect the minds of men, but never so many at once, and never so quickly. The Imperial Navy holds orbit, and the Blood Raven's own battle barge, the Litany of Fury, awaits a call from me to send transports to pick up all Blood Raven forces on a moment's notice. We are prepared to leave this doomed planet. But before we go, there are things we must do first. Put a stop to the forces of chaos, and destroy the maledictum, or die trying. You can see the orcs still being orcs. Chaos seems to be gaining numbers, or at the very least consolidating. And here you can assume this is the Imperial Guard symbol, but in red, so I'm assuming those are the traitor guardsmen. Or guardsmen that are, you know, defecting. That comment by the captain about higher numbers of traitors, you can attribute that to this. Chaos 101. And pain. The universe rewards those willing to spill their life's blood for the promise of power. <sighs> what, my lord? The traitor Imperial Guardsmen have fallen so quickly. I expected them to last a bit longer. Some of them have betrayed our position to the Blood Ravens. They're on their way here, now. Continue chanting, I shan't be long. <laughs> he sounds so annoyed. The circumstances you mention are divine providence, my lord. Everything is as planned. Once I dispense with this last obstacle, you will have that which we have plotted and schemed to achieve. And if the Space Marines should arrive before Providence graces us, then we shall play the good hosts and indulge them in a bloody feast. At all costs, however, keep them from interfering. This is a delicate process that cannot well afford any more interruptions. He's talking about and you. Might I advise you? Throw everything at the Blood Ravens. Everything. Their every contribution in this matter is paramount. Especially when we are so close. No. No. Where wait, 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 wait. Ah, yes. Power. Power. Demands. demands sacrifice. Love performance. Now you know what we fight and why. We will launch a two prong assault against the temple with the help of several guardsmen units who remain loyal to the Emperor. We must stop our adversaries from uncovering the maledictum. Come with me. You have new orders. We know of a hidden way into the temple. Tell no one else. It is a surprise. 
I'm sure that'll turn out well. Yes, Lord. We must wrest control of the four relics from the vile forces of Lord Bale. We cannot stop until they are ours. Ready to serve. Reporting, the sir. The captain has gone to secure the southern flank and left it to us to breach the main defenses. We will not fail him. Is this understood? Ready For to the serve. Emperor. Reporting, sir. They can see after the initial distrust, the Inquisitor Marine squad on board. seems to be pretty on board with this. The relics the are sure yes, to be well Lord. defended. If we cripple the Alpha Legion's infrastructure, Here they will be serve. no match for our might. Now that's true, but actually destroying them is a bit harder than he makes it out to the town. Chaos faction worked really hard to protect their little stronghold. Yes, Lord. I shall go. Build routine 7 to 1 Bank initiated. Take and hold. Yes, Lord. I exist to serve. Build routine 7 to 1 initiated. And again, this is the Imperial Guard. Do help with this a lot. Not only with the troops they're putting in front, but when the, these things are so that they'll get built over time. Oh, Once yeah, it's ready, you know, it sets out to help. Heresy grows from idleness. None can stand before the Inquisition. Now, the Inquisitors are meant to be the over, you know, oversight committee for any of the, you know, corruption that might occur the in the Imperium. And technically that does, you know, that Send doesn't really this, involve itself. You think it involves a lot of combat, but the idea obviously Body being fire. that because there are so many militant factions in the Imperium, because of what the institution is. Then the idea is that, you know, they gotta... For the Emperor! No, can't build one there. Okay. I think I need... Build routine 7 to 1 initiated. Wait. I await your instructions. Build routine 7 to 1 initiated. Here it is. I am ready to pass judgment. Orders received. So yeah, even though he's not really meant to have a major combat role, a lot of inquisitors tend to, you know, prepare themselves for the eventual need. Here to serve. I shall obey. None can stand before the Inquisition. So they tend to have a lot of access to weaponry, train training. I am prepared. None can stand yes, before the Inquisition. Build routine seven yes. to one. Initiated. None can stand before the Inquisition. Anything that might be necessary for them to stay alive. And of course bring whoever's actually guilty of I am ready to treason into justice. Even if it's a short, you know, trial. 
with a bolt to the head. One day, one day Inquisitors, their job is to, like I said, already oversight and oversee and make sure that there's no wanton, you know, deadly corruption in the Imperium. If there is, then obviously they need, they have a lot of authority and a lot of leeway yes, Lord. in order to make sure that they can bring swift action and retribution upon whoever's scheming or plotting. Yes, Lord. It's well. For the Emperor! to one initiated. Yes, Lord. One of the things that the Inquisitors can do if they... In this example, it's the extreme case. It's like, alright, what happens when the Inquisitor decides that an entire planet is a lost cause? It's one of those like, extreme scenarios. It, that's where the exterminatus thing that they keep bringing up, which is the way they've already described it, it's like the the death and destruction of an entire planet, literally wiping out the entire planet and its population from the face of the galaxy. And yeah, it's pretty much that what they said. There are like a few caveats sometimes, you know, like they they don't. It's, Kill. How they go about wiping out life on that planet might change. But it is essentially what they say it is. The destruction of life on the planet. And it is meant to be like the last resort type of thing. It's not supposed to be a too casual, oh well I guess we'll just push a button, no. Some of the, some of the humor, some of the more like critical riffing on the setting. One, at least this was, this was a joke I heard a lot uh, back in the old when I got into 40k was in that in contrast to what they claimed, the Inquisition and its factions were all too comfortable with just. Creep causing uh, an exterminator, like something that's supposed to be a last resort type of thing, instead became an all too common. It's like, well, no, too bad. I guess we'll just have to drop the button and just doom everyone. I don't know why this is happening. Yes, my lord. But yeah, it's like something that the the faction can do if Here to serve. in the worst case scenario. Not it again. It's not meant to be a whenever they feel like it. A lot of good stories actually tackle, you know, why they can't just use exterminators whenever they want. Under fire. And the extreme scrutiny they're actually gonna be put under. For the Emperor! Armor reporting! Moving out! So, uh, in, uh, uh, as the Inquisition, uh, there's more stuff to them, but. Fear denies faith. I wanna leave some we stuff for when we talk about Understood. the other part. Direct us to the enemy. And the Chaos faction is fighting them right now. 
the, their That's whole smart. strategy in terms of why their mindset seems to have been just okay, just throw a bunch of bodies towards your order? Uh, Blood Raven. Just buy us time. There's a dual purpose to that. One set, obviously, they literally are just gonna try to run down the clock, which is gonna be pretty effective considering how long it takes to get Lucy. But that's part of their strategy. The other piece of the strategy is related to how the demon magic works. Hopefully the rocket launcher will do its job for it. Movement got stuck. Cleanse, purge, kill. What's your order? We are the Emperor's chosen. Moving out. I'll hold back here for now. We are the Emperor's chosen. So these guys are one of the demons that they can summon. Oh, and this, this is the... This could be a problem. That's actually their commander. Means I'm probably about to lose this place. Dead. We have made landfall. Let us secure this location and then take the fight to the enemy. Yes, most beneficent one. As you wish. Scouts awaiting orders. Protects. At your command. Defending objective. Call on you guys later. So the chaos faction. Something you'll notice about them. Obviously, it's very straightforward, but it's you know part of their motivation and act. So. The fact that they have a very over-the-top presentation, you know, that's kind of pointless to draw out in the 40k overall setting because that, that can be applied to everybody. But in the case of the Chaos, I just want to point out when it comes to their, you know, like, their very extensive wardrobe. Like, they literally walk around with skulls and things of the like. And it leads to the idea of like, okay, why are these guys in literal like death armor? What's all that about? And carry a big gun. Ever vigilant. Charge. 
charge. Yes, Lord. So it's part of their aesthetic, obviously, it's meant to make them distinct from everyone else, but there's an actual motivation behind it. Part of it is simply that because the warp is tied to thoughts and emotions, stuff like what they wear and how they look and how they're able to very easily intimidate the very ordinary common person of the Imperium and, you know, species in general. We are the Emperor's Actually has its advantages for them as fast. I am prepared. For some reason the commander is very stubbornly determined to get to this thing. So I mean in the case of like the fact that he wields a scythe and wears a bunch of skulls in his armor. The fact that he's terrifying to most normal is part of the point for him. Because he wants to scare him. Here to serve. Because a lot of those emotions, terror, fear, disgust, we are the Emperor's chosen. They actually feed the beings of the war. Charge. It's also why they're their strategy here is throw bodies at the problem, draw draw it out, make it a bloodbath. Because if they can, in for some chaos factions, if they can cause enough of a carnage, they can, you know, bring the excess violence, no matter who's whose side it is, and technically even who's winning. The demons that they are aligned with actually get a boost from that. Yes. Take and hold. Where do you need us most? Make way. That is actually a big part of their We seek the enemy. Make way. <laughs> it's a big part of their Gain as a as a faction, the chaos demon, the demons, of, chaos demons, demons of chaos. Just repeating myself. Under fire. For the emperor. For the emperor. I don't. I think that's. Shall survive. Predator tank here. <laughs> this will be done. I am fire. We seek the enemy. We are the Emperor's chosen. Under fire. Maintain attack formation. So when the sorcerer is like giving him the idea, it is because they very much are willing to just throw their men into the carnage. Cultists, traitor guardsmen, imperials and all, they'll just throw them into the... get tired eventually or die. For the Emperor. Under fire. 
I await your instructions. Build routine 721 initiated. Oh, it's something most important that he mentioned that these guys were actually the Alpha Legion are one of the original basements that betrayed the Imperium. So as it said, Chaos gathers followers from throughout the Imperium timeline. So it's not unique to one era, but the fact that they mentioned that these guys are one of the original traitors carries a special meaning. So, way back when, 10,000 years ago, I think it's a literal number, back in the time of the actual Emperor, again, who in this setting is a real dude, who definitely existed, like, not, that's not... He's straight up a real... Under fire! Predator deployed. Under fire! That landmine blow me up again. Under fire! I don't have to keep saying. Try to say. I hope. <laughs> I guess we we'll need the extra fire battle. So, the Emperor was a real dude. Formed the Imperium, unified mankind. Long story, but it's like a real thing. And because... Now, he actually has a long history we stand ready. and a very complicated history. Oh boy. Looks like they're getting angry. Under fire. We are the Emperor's chosen. Cleanse. Urge, kill. So when the Emperor was around, he had a bunch of a uh, giant space marine army legions they were called and of these legions a few of them nine asked to be betrayed them and these were the original human factions that turned to chaos within the imperium there, there were plenty of other cultists throughout history but this was the first real big chaos move in the setting when this happened, Under fire. it led to the destruction Walk softly and carry a big gun. Praise the Emperor. 
Under fire. What would you have me do? What would you have me do? Predator at your command. Moving out. As you command. Here to serve. Stand ready. Under fire. Fear denies faith. Faith is our shield. Charge. Here to serve. As you wish. So the Alpha Legion is one of the OG players. They have a pretty big deal that they're the ones. We seek the enemy. Not sure why they're the ones specifically in this game, because as far as my memory serves, the Alpha Legion's not really big into most of the chaos stuff, but that just could be one version of the of the, of the Legion that I know about. By his glorious name. Make way. By his glorious name. Whatever the reason, the uh, the fact that these guys are one of the originals is meant to be a bit of a not only an important deal for the Space Marines because you know they're going after for them these are like one of the worst criminals in the setting, but it technically means that they are arguably one of the best you know like among the loyal space marines the ones that didn't betray get them you got among the loyal ones there tends to be a uh, hierarchy so the original space marine chapter which keep their titles or names from the original legion that were broken into chapters for reasons that are tied to the lore and all that so those chapters tend to be given a bit more reverence and seen in a much higher position and higher respect than the ordinary than the other newer space marine chapters Oh, there it is. No, uh, they they tried to they send their unit from the back. Make it twist this thing. The tanks will take on most of the hits. But... 
Thankfully, the enemy can get through in their own damn base, so. Suck it. That it? Done? No. Now, so they're down with them. By his glorious name. We will move ahead and mark any enemy positions. Yes, Lord. As you wish. <laughs> this day shall be a glorious one for the Imperium. Oh, here My aim is. shall not falter. Need to get. Hopefully, these guys can cloak while the rest of the army. Move them like everybody else. No way to command. Take and hold. Yes, my lord. We'll show these filthy aliens what Imperial Guard are made of. Under fire. I got this. They had the advantage of cover, I think. That worked out well for them. I command in the name of the Emperor. We seek the enemy. None shall survive. Ah, they got them. Command. Scouts in position. The enemies of the Emperor still draw breath. I, the peace. Under fire. I am prepared. I agree. Command me. Under fire. Well, that's gonna... Command infiltrating enemy territory. What is your order?
fear our wrath. We'll get through this, I know it. Where do you need us most? You think you're being a little sneaky with that artillery strike? Say, so yeah, even though, like we're there, there, but obviously until we get the relics. Under fire. Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. Yes, sir. Defending objective. The Emperor has abandoned us! At your command. You're the idiot who are standing in a lap. Following the relics orders. have been secured. Yes, my but lord. But the fight is not over. We must give the Inquisitor time to penetrate the Chaos Sorcerer's foul enchantments. The Emperor protects. Yes, sir. Finest Ready to tank here. Yes, then. There's work to be done. If you did your part and took out the bases, then there's not gonna be a whole lot you gotta worry about. Faith is our shield. If you hadn't done that, then yeah, this is the part where everything from the center yes, my lord. starts pouring out to try to get you. The Emperor protects. Ready to take here. Where do you need us most? Reporting, sir. Scouts awaiting orders. Predator at your command. Heavy support available. Heavy support available. Predator at your command. I don't need it. I am the instrument of his will. Yes, most beneficent one. Build routine seven to one initiated. There's only a, yeah, void of nothing because the game actually bothers to keep track of whether or not you've taken out the base. Since it did, the enemy doesn't actually have anything to throw at us anymore. Yes, most beneficent one. Hopefully I don't change this, but... Scouts charge. Predator tank here. Charge! Predator at your command. Charge! Predator tank here. Might as well have some fun with this. None shall survive. Absolutely crush them. Storm the gate. Fendry. Fendry. Lord Bale. The ritual failed to break the protective seal guarding the stone. But then, I already anticipated it would not work. In fact, I counted on it. We require a larger sacrifice. 
It is time. Leave him. How dare you, sorcerer! My lord, never forget all power demands sacrifice. Thank you for yours. <laughs> Oh, I hurt him so bad, dude. The echo glitch. And there it is. There it is. And as I promised, Go, 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 go. Old friend. Yes! And then, despite having the entire thing surrounded, they somehow managed to escape. You can either assume they used the secret entrance he spoke about, which we never see, that I know of, and, or just assume that the two can teleport. That That is something that, you know, Chaos factions can do as well, but, you know, plot convenience, he got away. So, a very turned traitor. First the Imperial Guard, now one of our own. Yeah. Once again, this is like the actual biggest problem with Chaos. Like the fact that they're able to actually turn so many people from the faction towards to, to join their forces. Then they... Well, see you all in the next one.